Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to talk about HAP Proxy versus Nginx. So what's the difference between them according to their pros and cons? So let's get started. At first, let's talk about what is HA Proxy. So HA Proxy or HAP Proxy stands for High Availability Proxy, which is an open source software written in the C language. Now HAP Proxy is a high performance free and open source software used by developers to improve website applications performance. It supports load balancing capabilities that help distribute the workload and result in performance improvements, such as reduced response time and increased throughput. Now, if you were to talk about the features of HAP Proxy, then as you can see on the screen, there are a lot. We have the URL rewriting, gzip compression, API support, gRPC support offers advanced debugging and tracing features, along with CLI for server management, support for HTTP authentication, SSL and TLS termination, and so much more as listed onto the screen. And if we were to talk about the pros of HAP Proxy, then the first and the foremost is that HAP Proxy supports virtual host and multiple network segments on the layer number four and seven. And it has a more detailed and user-friendly status page compared to Nginx. It is easy to integrate with third-party monitoring tools and services. It supports session retention and cookie guidance. And overall, this software has a better load balancing speed. Now, if you were to talk about some of the cons of HAP Proxy, then this software does not offer any web server capabilities. HAP Proxy does not support POP or SMTP protocol and SPDY protocol as well. Other than these protocols, it also does not support the HTTP cache function. And one of the biggest drawback is that the support for multi-process mode is not good enough. Anyways, now let's talk about the competitor which is the Nginx. So what exactly is Nginx? Well, Nginx is an open source software designed as a web server to deliver maximum performance and stability. Now it comprises HTTP server capabilities and function as a proxy server for email, reverse proxy and even a load balancer for specific servers. Now if you were to talk about the success of Nginx, then currently it is used by some of the top known websites such as Netflix, DuckDuckGo, Microsoft, IBM, Google, Zynga and so much more. Anyways, if you go over the list of features of Nginx, then you can already see that there are a lot just like we had for HAP Proxy. So we have reverse proxy with caching, fast CGI support with caching, IPv6 support, load balancing, gRPC support, TLS and SSL support, support for A and B testing features and health check features and then so much more. Anyways, let's quickly go over the list of the pros of Nginx. So starting off, you can easily see that the pros are more than HAP proxy. Anyways, Nginx has a more consistent written code base. It supports a friendly configuration format as well. The web server involves less memory and resources. So that is why it is considered to be faster in performance, which actually helps the website perform a bit faster. The installation process is very simple and the configuration features are very simple as well. Now Nginx is a stable web server that can handle high load pressures. It even allows detection of the internal failure using the port features. Now some of the cons of Nginx are that Nginx has a small community support in comparison to the Apache web server. Other than that, there are also fewer modules and extensions as compared to the other web servers for example Apache. And it only supports HTTP and HTTPS and email protocols and nothing other than that. And even the backend server health check process covers only port detection and not the URL detection. Overall, it lacks the Nginx session and cookie guiding ability. Anyways, the main purpose of this video is to compare HAP Proxy with Nginx. So let's go over some of the key differences between HAP Proxy and Nginx. Well, as you can see on the screen, we have this table for differences and we're going to remove the first ones because it's about what does the abbreviation stand for. So HAP Proxy stands for High Availability Proxy, while Nginx stands for Nginx. And the category for HAP Proxy is a load balancer slash reverse proxy, while Nginx has a category of web server that can act as a load balancer and even as a reverse proxy. Now by definition, HAP Proxy is open source software that supports load balancing capabilities and focuses on improving performance. Whereas Nginx is an open source web server that comprises HTTP server capabilities and focuses on delivering stability and better performance results. HAP Proxy was released in 2006, whereas Nginx was released in October 2004. Now if you were to talk about flexibility, then HAP Proxy flexibility on health checks and failover situation is much greater than Nginx, whereas Nginx has flexibility on caching. And then we can ignore the status page and exportable metrics because we are much more concerned with the implementation. So in regards to implementation, at the time of AppProxy's implementation, the process do not share any memory that affects the configuration parameters and session persistence is not possible. 
whereas at the time of the engine access implementation the process does share memory and then if we were to talk about the velocity then hap proxy community velocity did not seem very high in comparison with hap proxy the web server of nginx has a more forward velocity and moving on to the next category we have the protocol support well the hap proxy has the protocol support for grpc fast cgi http and http2 whereas nginx supports http https and email protocols only now if we were to talk about the rankings as per the application delivery controllers which is the adc then hap proxy ranks in the 8th position in application delivery controllers whereas nginx ranks in the 6th position and if you were to talk about the high profile companies which use these applications then for hype proxy we have twitter github instagram yelp imager reddit vimeo stack overflow tumblr and so much more whereas nginx it is used by microsoft ibm google zynga atlassian and so much more anyways those were some of the key differences between hype proxy and nginx and if you still want to know more in detail knowledge about hap proxy versus nginx with regard to their pros and cons then you can simply check out the blog linked in the description box now if you have learned anything new from this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel